we take the program statement as MATLAB program to perform convolution of the signals whereas the signals are given as into the discrete time we have the representation x1 of n as 0.4 to the power n times u of n and 0.5 power n into u of n so this is the corresponding representation from for x1 of n and x2 of n so u of n is nothing but the unit step signal that we have already generated in the MATLAB environment in few of the starting videos here. Now this task we have to accomplish for the convolution by using the Z transformation. Along with the task of convolution we have to also perform deconvolution for extraction of these original discrete time sequences by the use of Z transformation here. So now for using the Z transform we will be definitely switch from time domain to the transform domain by having the forward transformation syntax here and we shall also be requiring the parameter to represent the time into the discreteness here. So therefore we begin first of all with seems the parameter as we are having the discrete time representation of the signal it will be n and for the z domain i just mentioned z here so thereupon the generation of the given two signals we can be making and it will be folded up by the variables named as x1n and x2n here so x1n so this is the z domain uh, representation we shall be processing for first of all the discrete time representation here so x1n as given from the program statement is nothing but 0.4 to the power n here and this is multiplied by the unit step signal in the similar fashion we have x2n so x2n is having 0.5 to the power n here so ending the syntaxes by semicolon here now we are going to make the use of forward transformation so this time it is not the laplace transform it is the z transform here so the variables to hold the transformed versions of these two signals that are currently into the time domain we switch to x1 z and x2 z so x1 z can be obtained by carrying out forward Z transformation onto the X1N here. So for forward Z transformation, the syntax here we have Z trans here. And to this syntax, we have to provide the input that is X1N into the discrete time domain here. Now, in the similar fashion, we can have the transformation of second signals also. So I write here Z trans and provide the input x2n here now as we know that whatever convolution operation we expect into the time domain that will get simplified to be a mere multiplication or having a product of the transformed versions into the transform domain so as we have got transformed we can carry out a simple multiplication here so the multiplication can be holded up by the new variable that I named to be x3z here and the x3z we can obtain by having x1z asterisk x2z here and when we get back to the original discrete time domain so that time the x3 that time it will be n x3n will be the convolution of the two signals in original case so now for that purpose we have to carry out the inverse z transformation so we move further here we take the symbol convolution of first and second to be con12 here and apply the inverse z transform iz trans here and provide the input variable as x3z that has been computed into the above step here so this way we can get back from z domain to that of the discrete time domain here so after getting back we have to display that result also 
so I just display it so within a pair of parentheses and a pair of single quotes I just mention convolution of x1 of n and x2 of n it's by the next line we can have displayed this particular convolution result so we write simplify and the variable input is con12 here now thereupon we can use deconvolution here so convolution we have obtained for deconvolution to extract the original discrete time sequences we can say we can make the use of variables DCON underscore x1 z here so this we can obtain from the transformed version into the z domain so the convolution result that is the multiplication into the transformed domain that is x3 z here this can be divided by the z domain version of the second signal that is x2 z here and after having this particular variable holded up that result if we get back by the inverse z transformation into the discrete time domain it will be the original signal x1 of n here so for that purpose i just mention here dcon underscore x1 n here so this is equal to i z trans and the input is d is u n underscore x1 z here and after obtaining it into the discrete time domain we can have it displayed onto the command prompt here so within a pair of parentheses and a pair of single quotes i just mentioned here the signal x1 of n obtained after deconvolution is so that deconvolved signal will be represented here by simplify and thereupon we shall be providing the input variable decon underscore x1 n here in the similar fashion the second input signal can also be obtained can also be extracted by performing deconvolution operation so for that purpose dcon underscore x 2z can be obtained first of all by x 3z that is the multiplication of transform version it means the convolution of the two signals into the time domain divided by x 1z here then we can write dcon underscore x2n into the discrete time domain that can be obtained by inverse z transformation so i z trans here and that is provided the input dcon underscore x2 z here so here we shall be displaying it onto the command prompt the string can be the signal x2 of n obtained after deconvolution it's so here we'll write simplify and the variable as the input here so the variable is decon underscore x2 n here so this is the script we have written to make the use of z transformation forward and inverse transformation for performing convolution and deconvolution so i just save the script so i just name it as program 1 underscore 13 so that program has been generated into the current directory even the name has been changed here onto the title and now we can run this program So as we run this program, we can see the corresponding changes have been occurred into the workspace. The current variables that we have worked with in this script 
have been generated into the workspace. You can see CON12, the TCON, X1N, X1Z. So in both of the transform and the discrete time versions, we have this. So here we have the command prompt. And onto the command window, we have convolution of X1 of N and X2 of N. The displayed result is Phi in multiplication to 1 by 2 having the power n minus 4 in multiplication to 2 by phi having the power n here. And after deconvolution, making the use of Z transformation, the first signal we have obtained 2 by phi to the power n and the second one 1 by 2 to the power n. So 1 by 2 we know that is nothing but the 0 0.5 to the power n that was the second signal and 2 by 5 0 0.4 here we can get back to the problem statement we had so 0 0.4 to the power n 0 0.5 to the power n these were the original two signals